I have like a little audience today. This is weird. I don't, it's weird having an audience. All right, let's go check out what souvenirs he brought back from the moon. Ladies first. Not this time, hon. The hell does that mean? Too bad. We got a straggler here. No loss. We can do this without him. I know, but it feels incomplete. You get too attached. It's going to impede your abilities to do your job. That's rubbish. Don't pin your womanly ways on me, you woman. So where am I going? What am I doing? What's going on? Am I just leaving? Hmm. I guess we'll go here. This is the same setting as his real last accessible memory. Usually there's at least some change. Something isn't right. These memories, they feel more than just having happened again. They are exactly the same. That's impossible. The desire was transferred, was it not? It was. Thanks, Terry. Sometimes I have, like, audio issues on my stream that I'm not aware of, because I can't really hear it from my end. All I hear is the game, and then I just talk. So, Terry's pretty wonderful, because she helps me figure that stuff out. If this is indeed the same memory, he'd be at the cliff overlooking the lighthouse. You will not tell me where to go. I mean, come on. Johnny? Oh! What a pleasant surprise. We don't get many visitors around here. Deja vu. Again. My name is Dr. Eva Rosalind, and this is... What? I'm not saying it twice. Dr. Neil Watts. Are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Life Generation? Oh, are you two from the agency? How convenient, I've just been thinking of calling you. Lily, get us some tea, please. Lily? Freeze him, too. Well? Wait here, I'll go send the desire signal again. See if there's any changes. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I like making voices. <laughs> you transferred successfully, for sure. Any changes? Not even a hair. How could this be? Even if his desire doesn't work alone, why is there no change at all? Perhaps, perhaps it just needs provoking to activate. From his early memories? The earliest we can get to. Let's go. Man, ain't that just the way, like, shit never works the way you want it to the first time. Back to the movie theater! Johnny's desire to go to the moon might need some stimulation to be brought up. Well then. Did she just cause an earthquake? Oh, okay. What the? This is what they said they was playing? Oh well. Do you mind, River? No, I like this one. Alright, let's go then. Hopefully, that's enough for an ignition. Wait, where is Neil? That Neil, you piece of crap.
Did you see to the moon? How was it? Eh, that's a bit too much pretense for me. I prefer my movies to be a bit more, oh, genocide quai. That's not how you pronounce that, dumbass. You know, wait, really, where's Neil? Bathrooms? Uh, movie theater? the moon, darling! Oh, Henry! Dear Lord, I'm way too tired and hungry to be constructing movies. Guess I should go see if anything's changed with John. Uh. Sorry for making you sit through this, buddy. Things are going good. I'm working quite a bit, doing this as a kind of a fun little hobby. Um, I mean, that's about it, really. Work and play and work and play. Nothing is different. It's all the same. I'll have to try igniting it somewhere else, then. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Lily! Who's done this to you, Lily? Perhaps something here could work. I don't have time for her right now. So did she throw an encyclopedia in your face, huh? Did she? Shut up, dude. What are you guys doing here? It's starting. Let's go get a good spot. Wait, I don't remember that happening. Something must have changed. What changed? Where are people people going in here? Hey, don't squeeze. Oh, it's like a assembly. Wait a minute. This isn't a real change, this is... May I have your attention, please? As you know, I'm a representative sent from NASA in all its glory. And I'm here to tell you about it. Hit it, Timmy! Wow, that was terrible. But I digress. Anyways, I know that many of you are wondering. What chances do I have of doing something as awesome as adventuring into another realm? To inhale the sweetness of Venus? To swim counterclockwise to the rings of Saturn? Or perhaps just chill at the backside of the moon? Well, here at NASA, we believe that with enough will, everyone has the potential. It could be you. Or you! Or perhaps... You. I don't wanna go to the moon. Then you're in luck. Wait, what? Why not? Why should I? I'm happy here on Earth as it is. Well... Don't you wanna go there even a little bit? No, why? Not even a tiny bit? Um, no? Well, as an official NASA recruiter, I shall go over some facts about the moon. To, uh, to start off, the moon is 4.5 billion years old. And did you know that its surface is about as big as Africa? It's true. In fact, if you try to bike around the moon... <coughs> you're really tired, I'm assuming. 
Also, it takes 1.5247 seconds for light to travel to the moon from here. And if you drive a flying car, it takes 130 days. I knew that. And last but not least, people who go to the moon get rich and famous. And we all know that rich plus famous equals groupies. So, that concludes my presentation. Remember, NASA welcomes any of you, especially if you're a brunette. <laughs>